What's up guys, Jolt Central here, and uh, I'm here with my favorite of uh, my whole uh, unboxings right now. This is a 2GB version of the EVGA GeForce GTX 760 by NVIDIA, using the NVIDIA chipset. Uh, this is a, a beast of a graphics card right here. Uh, it goes up to 3-way SLI, and I'm going to be able to do that eventually, I might do a video eventually on that. So here are all the features, you guys can go ahead and pause it, and here if you don't speak English, I don't know why the hell you're watching my video, because I only speak English. Uh, yeah, so I can skip past that. Sorry, I'm not racist. Anyways, uh, yeah, so uh, it's using the ACX uh, modular uh, cooling system rather than NVIDIA's uh, stock cooling. The reference card, I guess you can say, a lot of people call it that. Uh, see, it supports up to three-way SLI. It is GeForce. Uh, I mean, uh, number one seller of in the U.S. of NVIDIA-based products. So that's really good, and I don't see why why they aren't because uh, they have some great products. There you go. It's 3D vision ready. Uh, and there's a, a GeForce GTX logo again by NVIDIA. Uh, so let's crack this bad boy open, and I have my handyman here, Pipe by Pipe here. Go ahead and subscribe to his channel. Thank you. So let's uh, let's bust out this kunai here, my trusted kunai. Let's open this thing up. And yeah, okay. There you go. So let's open this up here from the side. Uh, let's, let's get a little view up here. He's not a he's not working properly. It's okay. Because EVGA actually has really good customer support. Uh, unlike here, I have my motherboard right here, as I've been referencing in my other videos so far, which you can go ahead and check in the link below in the description. Keep holding that. Don't drop it. Uh, yeah, EVGA has really good customer support. Unlike Asus, I'm not dissing or anything, I'm just saying uh, I've heard nothing but uh, bad news when it comes to Asus's. Uh, Here's, I think, a poster. Oh, ho, ho, the Game of Pwns poster. I'm so hanging that up. So hanging that up. Okay, nothing else in here. Uh, let's, let's first take a look at this Game of Pwns poster. Oh I'm, th I'm pretty sure this is the Game of Pwns poster that I've been seeing so much. <clears throat> and it is. Oh. The Game of Pwns poster. Got a good view of that, real quick. Okay. EBG. I like that seal there, EBG. Here it is. That's an awesome poster right there, I'd say. <laughs> and that was a fail. So I'll go ahead and pick that up. I set that there on the bed. So let's take a look over here at what we got. Um, right now we have, right here is the uh, EVGA graphics card user guide. Uh, this is a pretty self-explanatory thing, so I don't exactly need this. Um, so yeah. Uh, we have our software disk. Uh, we don't, we, you're probably not going to want to use this at all, actually. Uh, but there is one thing good that comes out of this. And that is, there you go. This awesome, uh oh. This awesome little EVGA, uh, what is this? This is, a, oh, this is a sticker that you put on your case. So there's an awesome little EVGA sticker here. This thing will focus in, there you go. Powered by EVGA. So yeah, don't use this, just download GeForce, uh, GeForce Experience and you're going to want to get your drivers off of there. Or off the NVIDIA website. <clears throat> okay, go ahead and uh, read that on your time and pause it. Um, here's another little uh, quick, start, uh, quick start guide here. Very simple. And we have uh, two big stickers here. Uh, EVGA, there's a white version and a black version. Nice big stickers there. It looks uh, here we have uh, two cables here. Um, Alright guys, uh, sorry I kind of ran out of space there on my phone. Uh, so I just deleted a whole bunch of crap. Uh, anyways, uh, what you guys missed out on was uh, just this. Uh, uh, Molex, I think is uh, the name of the... Or Molex, Molex. is the transmitters here or whatever. Uh, yeah, cables right here. Molex cables and I think PCI cables right here. And uh, here's a DVI uh, 
um, adapter here, uh, you're not gonna, who the heck is gonna use that, especially with this powerful graphics card, uh, you're gonna wanna use at least an HDMI, if not a display port for some 4K resolutions, if it supports it, so let's go ahead and take this off, yeah, you missed me saying all of my funny stuff, actually, you know, I was talking about, I was referring to the graphics card as Big Mama, you know, you guys totally missed out on my, my jokes, terrible shame, yeah, such a shame, uh, my jokes are hilarious. So let's just try and remove the... Here, you hold this pipe. Yeah. Alright, let's try and remove this. There you go. Got a little peel right there. And... Oh wow, look at that shine, man! This is, this is, these are the, this is like the best part right here. You know, removing the, the layers here and just getting that nice shine, no fingerprints on there. Wow. Wow, that is, that is great. Alright, so let's take a look around here. Uh, oh, actually, I have this on here. Uh, this is just covering the uh, SLI. This is where you have your SLI here if you want to do some uh, dual, SA, uh, dual SA, uh, well, SLI. Uh, yeah, um, here you have your DVI. If anyone's going to use it. DVI in and out. All right. <clears throat> so let's take a look at the back here. Um, let me just. Uh, oh, are these plugged in? Yeah. yeah whatever. Uh, yeah. So here it is. Oh yeah, yeah. This is covering it. There you go. There you go. I was just being a little gentle here. I'm kind of scared. This is hard to take out. There you go. Okay. There you go. Uh, here is your HDMI, uh, HDMI, and your DisplayPort. I'm going to be using DisplayPort for some 4K resolutions, because uh, you know I just I roll fancy life, you know that fancy life though. And uh, as again SLI, you know you put your SLI bridges here. Your PCI Express ports. Um, here is the card. Let's take a look at the back here. Um, it has a wider, uh, a wider uh, build here. Um, a wider heat sink as well. You can see the heat sink right here. Uh, great fans. They're very sturdy. And uh, you know the the uh, the ACX cooling uh, that EVGA does it has a very good rating. Uh, it keeps it's it stands for Active Cooling Extreme. Uh, and they have very good ratings. As you can see, you have the uh, heat exhaust pipes right here. Uh, slightly slightly enlarged. There uh, for uh, a little extra uh, cooling there. Uh, we have the GeForce GTX 760 written here on the side, representing NVIDIA right there, uh, right as well as here. Uh, but you have NVIDIA's. Uh, they're not using NVIDIA's card at all. They have their own card, which is which is really good because they did a very good job. So uh, let's hand it back to my hand and uh, close out this video. So thanks for watching, guys. This is a little bit of a long video. Uh, but it is worth it. I mean, this is the EVGA GeForce GTX uh, 760. Once again, go ahead and check the links in the description. Uh, I will have uh, test footage out showing all the stats and stuff afterwards. I don't know how long it's going to take me because I'm probably going to be really busy gaming on this machine. And uh, yeah, so just go ahead and check it out. Uh, upcoming is the motherboard you've all been waiting for. And go ahead and check out... Oh, not that. But there is the power supply, and under this poster here, we have the RAM. And soon to come is the uh, case, the uh, NZXT Phantom 410 Mid Tower. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next.